Move forward and he will bless you. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. But for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall. Today's verse is upon us with warning. A warning to correct ourselves and come back to our creator and continue to live in his presence with no fear of death, but the reverence of life. We must know him as our creator and acknowledge that he knows better than us and always provides us the wisdom to discern things and prepare us to respond to be an overcomer. Those who respect him shall be healed and set free. To understand today's verse, we need to start reading from chapter 3 verse 13 and continue till chapter 4 verse 3. It shows that as the nation of Israel has been unfaithful, there are individuals among the people who are faithful. At the very least, they are willing to respond to God's correction. As a result, God promises to protect them from upcoming wrath. This reckoning is described in dramatic, fiery terms. Part of the purposes of this particular judgment is to distinguish the wicked from the righteous. In this case, those who follow God will be healed and set free. Those who do not will be completely consumed. Let's start practicing to live each day of our lives, honoring him and making him the center of every word coming out of our mouths and every action we make. Let's bless the places we have been placed with his presence to bring glory and honor to him alone. Let's prepare ourselves for the day of vindication so we will not regret this time we got today. So let's not hum- let's not waste any moment and humble ourselves before him, giving him chain- charge of everything. So we will not be ashamed, but rejoice in him, with him, and before eternity. Ms. Mesut also gives us a promise today. The promise is, the light of the moon will be as bright as the sun, and the light of the sun will be seven times brighter. Like the light of the seven days on the day that the Lord binds us the brokenness of his people and heals the wounds that he has inflicted. Let's close this time for that to get. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty wonderful God, Lord, for the healing touch of your Son Jesus Christ, who has clothed me in his righteousness and removed the scales of unbelief from my heart, look down in pity on all who do not know your grace and rejected the light of your truth. Draw many from the kingdom of darkness into the light of the glorious gospel of grace. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. How blessed you and if God's when we talk to you tomorrow.